morning, Saints. This is Sister Jo, and this is October the 13th, Friday. I got a word from the Lord this morning that I want to share with you. I'm still outside in my hoopah, as the Lord called it. And he's been speaking to me this morning about the darkness coming upon the earth. As I've been sleeping out here for the past week, that's the main thing that has really struck me is that I could just sense the unrest and the lawlessness. It's like a spirit in the land of lawlessness. This is normally a very quiet neighborhood, uh, just families around here very quiet. But all night long I would hear these loud uh, cars going by with mufflers real loud and speeding. You could hear them going all up and down, around, and I thought, what is going on? And the dogs barking, it's just, I could sense, it's just like darkness had come over the place and lawlessness. Rebellion is what I sensed. And it was a very unsettling feeling. And then uh, last night, this oil lamp, I'm going to try to show it to you. <clears throat> so you can see full of oil. I trimmed the wick because it, it went out and wouldn't burn. So I trimmed the wick and uh, it still wouldn't light, wouldn't burn. And so I took the thing apart. And I, Took the wick out, put the part that had been saturated in the oil down in the oil. I put it up through the uh, device and rolled it up so it was just, you know, should have been just saturated in the lamp oil. Would not burn. I could demonstrate it to you. But I don't know how long this will record. Would not burn. Uh, it gave me, I was, I'm just in shock. What is going on? And then this wick, I know you can't, say you can't see it. I don't think you can. It's got red on it. It looks like blood. So when I was praying this morning, seeking the Lord, this word came to me, and this is what I want, want to share with you today. Let God be glorified, even as darkness covers the earth and gross darkness the people. Yet I will rejoice in my God and glory in the Holy One of Israel. Put on your beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, for no more will the uncircumcised or unclean come into you again. For I, the Lord, make the distinction. I search the heart. I choose between the sheep and the goats. I have passed through and separated sheep from sheep as a shepherd who divides his sheep. I have placed my mark on those who serve me. They I will keep and protect from the evils to come. The days of darkness are upon you, O land of America. I will spare you no more. You have rejected me and my prophets you have, that I have sent to you. You love your sin. You love your money and prosperity. But I will strip you naked that your shame may be seen. I will not hear you when you cry to me. The days of mercy are over. I will not hold back until my vengeance is satisfied. But to those who have forsaken their sins and their idols, I will hide and protect you. I will come upon you as a gentle rain. I will satisfy your mouth with good things. Beneath my wings you will abide until I lift you up. Stay close to me. As the evil descends, many of those you thought were of my house will fall away when they see the destruction, when they lose all they have labored for, and it is gone. Grieve not, my children, over these things. I will be your comfort. I will be your security. Hope in God and look up. Your redemption draws near. As for your lamp going out and not relighting, this is a sign to you that the time of darkness is upon you. Do not pray for this to change. For it must come to pass where the word is spoken. Darkness covers the earth and gross darkness the people. 
But unto you who fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness rise upon you. I will be your eternal light, leading you through the darkness into the full light of day. Put on your beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, for no more shall the uncircumcised and unclean enter again. Rise up from the dust of despair. Put on strength, put on glory, for the glorious Lord is in your midst. He will save. He will rejoice over you with singing. You are his treasure. You are his crown. You will rise up in strength, and your enemies will be ashes under your feet in the day I do this, says the Sovereign Lord. Clothe yourselves and rise up. I will be your strength. I will be your victory. The time is at hand. The time has come for my people to shine. Endure to the end, my people. Be at peace and trust in me. Amen. So that's the word, and I pray that you'll take it to, to the Lord and let him confirm it to you, if this is from him or not, and what he wants you to do. Pray and seek his face. God bless you. Keep you. Amen. God bless you.